Hello guys and welcome to my first tutorial in the set called Buying from Taobao from the United States. So some of you guys might be wondering what is Taobao? Well Taobao is kinda like the uh, Chinese version of eBay. That's kinda what I like to think of it as. Um, and you know for the longest time you weren't able to purchase through Taobao if you lived in the United States you could only purchase domestically in China well ever since 2015 2016 something like that the Alibaba group the group who owns Taobao and several other websites made it possible for people in the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Malaysia, and Singapore to purchase direct through Taobao. And today I'm going to start showing you how to do that. Today's tutorial first will be getting it all, getting your computer all set up to browse Taobao in English, I might add. Plus, we're going to register our account. Alright, so what do you need first? You need a computer or a laptop. If you don't have one, go to a friend's house. Go to your parents' house. Go to the library. Go somewhere that has a computer or a laptop because I am not going to show you how to use the cell phone app basically because that's not very easy to translate and I don't know anything about it. Okay, grab your computer and make sure it has Google Chrome. You see, I have Google Chrome already open up, all ready to go. Not yet, not yet. We need to go up here to these three dots. This is where you uh, input your settings and stuff in Google Chrome. We're going to go down here to settings. And then we're going to show advanced settings. We're going to scroll all the way down here to languages. And we're going to make sure this checkbox, Offer to Translate Pages that Aren't in the Language You Read, is checked. And then, that is that. Now, we're going to go up here, or you can search Google too. I'm going to go up here, I'm going to type in Taobao. Let's see if it pops up, it sure did. There's www.taobao.com in Chinese and we're going to click on that and as you see when I click on it it pops up would you like to translate this page and I click translate and the page is being translated now lately Taobao has been doing this on its home page that's okay I have not had any issues with it doing this but as you can see when the page is not translated everything is in Chinese and when the page is translated oh now it won't work because I stopped it from loading you see there oh there we go there we go okay now the page is in Chinese when I go translate it'll all show up in English you see how that works and yes they do have a mobile Taobao Sometimes the prices on there for items are cheaper. It says it's designed for overseas users, but you know what? I can't read Chinese at all. No, I am American. I am doing this tutorial from right here in the United States. So I'm just going to close that out. We're not going to worry about that. So here we are. Here is Taobao. Now what can you buy on Taobao? Like I said, it's pretty much the equivalent, the Chinese equivalent, to eBay. So you could buy just about anything you want on Taobao, I think. But for this tut these tutorials that I'm going to be making, I'm going to focus on buying stuff for ball-jointed dolls. What in the heck is that? I bet you're wondering. Well, as uh, ball jointed dolls or Asian, you know, dolls made by you know a lot of Asian companies. Not always. You know, there's a lot of, there's some American makers of BJDs, but 
you know, these tutorials are I'm making for my BJD people, you know, other people in the hobby. So, but you can buy other things on Taobao too. You could buy do-it-yourself crafting things, um, fabric, cosplay items. As you can see down here, you could buy watches and things on wholesale, art supplies, shoes, bedding. You know, you could just buy anything you want, you know, dress, iPhone case, ceramic cup. Now some things that you're not able to buy, and we'll go through that later when we actually go buy something, but right now we just want to register an account. Now fingers crossed the website works for me because it, sometimes it is picky. Today it looks like it's going to be picky. So. First off, make sure you're on HTTPS world.taobao.com. World if it says taobao.com, this might not work. In which, if you're from overseas, it should say world.taobao.com. Alright, so now before registering account, make sure you can receive SMS text messages on your mobile phone. Well, make sure you have a mobile phone. You don't have a mobile phone? Use friends. Use use your families, just like with the computer thing. Use somebody's. Okay. Now, one thing I will want to add: if you do not want to purchase direct from Taobao, it's still a really good idea to have a Taobao account. And I will get into the reasons why later on in different tutorials. So right now, let's go up to register. Registered. You know, that means register. Register your account. And we're going to click that. Let everything load in here. Now as you see, you know, the little pop-up thing didn't pop up, but that's okay. We could just click English here. And now everything's in English. Now here it's going to ask you to enter your mobile phone number. Enter your mobile phone number. Or enter a friend's mobile phone number. Make sure if you're from the United States, make sure it's on United States or Canada, Australia, New Zealand. You know, and then there's all the other ones. Me, I'm from the United States, so I'm going to make sure it's on United States. And then as you can see here, the green check mark says, oh yeah, that's the appropriate way to put in your phone number. So, so then I'm just going to slide this verification thingy. And it'll ask me to put in a code. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, and if you can't see this number up here, it's because I blurred it out before uploading this video. So anyway, I'm going to input the verification code. Yours will probably be different. And I'm going to submit. And now it's verified. Now, if you want to use Taobao to buy stuff, you must create your Alipay account by your Taobao account. So I'm going to also click that one. And I'm going to go click next. Now, a verification code will be sent to my mobile phone. Let's see. Let's see if this works. I guess I didn't have to input the number one, did I? No. That's okay. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Probably won't. Probably won't because it has too many ones, doesn't it? All right. I'm going to take that one away. Don't put your one there. This will add a one right here. I'm going to verify this one more time. C K two U. Okay. Remember, leave this one. Don't put the one down here, okay? Don't put it in your box here. And submit. 
Now I'm going to see if that works. Now i got to wait about a minute. And if you heard that noise, there's my verification code. I'm going to read that here and I'm going to type in the verification code. And I am going to confirm. All right, sorry guys, I had a little issue because um, since I had already used my phone number to register account before, it gave me a little bit of a problem. But we're back, we're back to what we need to do. All right, so this will ask your login name. Okay, and usually it'll be your email. So I put in my email right up here and I probably also will blank this out so you won't be able to see it but just know it might be your email okay now we're gonna put in a password and now grab yourself a nice piece of paper and a pin and I want you to type in or write down what password you choose okay I am going to also write down the email address that I used and I should not have used this email address but whatever all right so now my, my password I'm just going to type in something random and make sure you follow this it has to be six to twenty characters only consist of letters numbers and symbols and contains two, at least two of the following numbers and symbols. So I'm going to type in uh, just and two, two, three. Okay. Now I got my password, and I'm going to confirm it, and then I'm going to set my username. and also remember to follow the rules right here and I'm and just because this is a tutorial and this is just kind of a test account to run these tutorials I'm gonna set up something crazy for my username and I'm also gonna make sure I write that down too okay yes that looks funny okay one boo two boo but hey and I'm gonna submit that uh, Username already been taken. All right, so I'm gonna pick one bow, two bow. I don't know. That's probably already been taken too, huh? Nope. Okay. All right, so I am back here at the login page. It does work. It, it did work. I went just Taobao's giving me some issues. That's okay. That happens actually quite a bit for Taobao. Um. So anyway, I'm back here at the world page. I am not logged in. I'm going to go up here. This is actually the login button if you translate it. If you don't get the pop-up up there, right click somewhere here in the white spot, click translate to English, and then go to login. And then this will be your login page. Now this first part will be your email address. And if you don't see it, it's because I blocked it out because I don't know why I'm using. Oh, what the? Oh, then you'll get another SMS saying, thank you for registering on Taobao. Please go to the Alipay to activate your Alipay app. We're not going to do that yet. I actually have quite a few messages here. Okay, let me double check all those. Yeah, and it'll tell you to go to the Alipay to activate Alipay with your tab out account. Of course, we could go ahead and uh, do that later. We could go ahead and activate that later because it looks like it's not wanting to work. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that later. Well, now we have our nice little account. 
We're not focused on buying anything right now. We just registered an account. Man, that was just too much hard work already, wasn't it? Jeez. But before I leave today, I'm going to click this. You see how it has my username and then it has the V up and it keeps moving. It wants me to activate my VIP membership. Now, Ali, or excuse me, Tabal works on a leveling system. And the more you purchase on Taobao, the more points you earn and you go up in VIP membership levels. So we're going to click this to activate it. And now it is activated. And you even went up a little bit. Isn't that awesome? So pretty much that's it for the first tutorial. Remember in this tutorial, we went and activated our account. Apologies, I had some problems. This is not my main account. I already have a main account and <laughs> Taobao don't really like it if you use the same <clears throat> phone number more than once or twice. Now one thing for certain, I have had people say that they registered an account and then they couldn't get back into it. <clears throat> if that's the case, then go back through this tutorial and try again try to register a new account because you can at least use your the same um, phone number at least twice. I do know that. This is not actually my first account or my second account. This is my third account. And that's probably why it stopped me. You shouldn't get that message that I got. It should be pretty much straightforward for you. Alright, so if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the uh, comment section. I will try to help as best as I can. I'm not much for showing people, you know, you know, answering questions. So if I don't get to your questions right away, don't be impatient with me, please. Um, our next tutorial, my next tutorial is going to be how to browse Taobao. So stay tuned for that and I'll get that up shortly.